Hey guys, we are going to do the box method for multiplying binomials. Oh my gosh, you should be excited. First of all, I'm gonna go really fast in this video, assuming you pretty much know what's going on, but you just need a quick refresher or to know how to do this. If you need more detail than that, awesome. I've got a more detailed video linked right over there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we are multiplying these. You've probably been doing the foil way where you multiply that, multiply that, do the little rainbows. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, this way is great for visual learners or if you sometimes get confused or sometimes it's just better this way. I don't know, I like this way. So you just take one of the binomials, put it up here, x plus four. One of them down the side, x minus six. It doesn't matter which one you put where. All right, then you multiply them as they line up in the boxes. So x times x gives me x squared. Four times x gives me four x. X times negative six gives me negative six x. See where I'm going with this? Negative six times four gives me negative 24. And then I'm gonna write that out. I'm gonna combine the like terms, which are those two x's. So I've got x squared. Then I've got four x minus six x, which gives me negative two x. And then I've got the negative 24 on the back. Not bad, right? For some people that's like, oh, and for other people that's like, uh, why would I do it that way? So if, if you're like, what the crap on this way, um, check out my foil videos. All right, now this one, just a little bit different. I've got a three out front. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can either multiply these two, like we did up here, and then multiply the three in, or you can multiply the three in to one of them first and then multiply those two. You can do it either way, you'll get the same answer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply the three in first. So three times X gives me three X. Three times two gives me six. Now you might say, why aren't you multiplying it to that one as well? Well, now that it's in here, when I multiply it to this, the three will go there as well. So you don't need to do it to both of them. It will get to both of them once we multiply them all. Okay, so now I'm gonna write this one up here, three X plus six, X minus five on the side, three X times X gives me three X squared, six times X gives me six X, three X times negative five gives me negative 15 X, six times negative five gives me negative 30. All right, we're almost done, three X squared, we always like to write these in descending order, so um, highest exponent on down. So I've got the 3x squared. Um, I can combine these like terms. So um, 6x minus 15x gives me negative 9x. And then I've got the minus 30 on the back. And you are done. All right, hopefully that made sense. Also, if you haven't already, soon you're going to be doing this backwards. So you're going to be going from here to here factoring. Um, I will uh, link some videos for that um, for when you get to there, if you're already there. Awesome. Hopefully get your homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that are nightmares.